Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He's been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me, you sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the Knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights, and that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. Results. I must continue to work hard. I have to say, it's a real honor to accompany such a brave and distinguished knight. None other than Catherine, wielder of Thunderbrand. You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. Why would Lenato incite such a reckless rebellion? You should know more about that than any of us, Ash. Well, I don't. Lenato never mentioned anything of the like to me. 
He probably didn't want you getting caught up in his own personal vendetta. I'm Lenato's adopted son. He raised me as though I were his own blood. He was always so kind. I don't understand. <sighs> I guess it has to do with Kristoff. How much do you know about the tragedy of Dusker, Professor? It's when the king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus was... was murdered by the people of Dusker. It happened about four years ago. It's okay, Catherine. Please, go on. Right. Well, Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was accused of being involved in that whole awful affair. He was executed by the church. King Lambert was attempting a major political reform. Needless to say, he had many enemies. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. They're not far greater than we predicted. They used the fog to slip past the Knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! Shouting from within the fog. It seems the knights are already battling. Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Stay focused. What should I do? I'm on it. I'll cut through. Here goes. My thanks. Ready. Here we go. I'll go. I'll give it my all. Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. Why, Lenato? Why did you drag so many others into this? You think 
we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord?
Lord Lenato, please don't die. I am sorry. But did you really think you would get away with this? I won't let you anywhere near Lord Lanato.
Thunderstrike Cassandra. It was your wretched zealotry that killed my son! <laughs> the only name I answer to is Catherine. Prepare to taste the blade of one who serves the goddess. Now you face a knight of Theros! The fog is cleared. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. Obvious. Ah! <laughs> 
You're a big help. So. Useful.
my thanks. Big help. the one to kill you, no other! You have lost all sense of justice. You want to fight me? So be it. I'll send you to meet your goddess.
have been deceived by that witch. I will show you the truth. No other option. Stand down, Ash. I must destroy these evildoers by any means necessary. Please surrender, Lenato. Whatever your reasons for doing this, we can still talk it out. Rhea is an infidel who has deceived the people and desecrated the goddess. We have virtue and the goddess herself on our side. Even if all that's true, dragging the townsfolk into it like this isn't right. Enough. If that is how you feel, Prepare yourself. I'm putting an end to this. Apologize, Your Highness. It is regrettable that we should cross swords like this. Lenato, I sympathize with your position. I really do. I have no wish to kill you, but I'm afraid you have left me no choice. Please, forgive me. Your Highness, I cannot stop here. For my child, and for the people of Fodlan. If you will not stand aside, then I have no choice but to cut you down. Royal woman. Christoph, forgive me. Lenato, I. I never thought I'd see Lenato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. Thank you. Why? Why did this happen? Lenato was always such a kind man. Everyone in the village was... so nice to me, and I... I killed them. I, I killed them all. I had to. I know I had to. I know that, but still... I... What does that make me? Please, don't beat yourself up, Ash. We did what had to be done. I'm... I'm sorry. I shouldn't be bothering you. I'm... I'm going to check on the town. I hope my brother and sister are okay. That... That was my first time killing civilians, too. 
those who I'm sworn to protect. Are you insane? Those weren't knights or soldiers, but fathers and sons. We... We shouldn't have killed them. We should have found another way. I... I'm sorry. It's not fair for me to blame you for the circumstance. I know that if we hadn't done what we did, even more civilian lives would have been lost. At least my mind understands that, but my heart... <sighs> Professor, those in power, no matter the era, always claim they fight for a just cause, that they take life to protect it. But... Is it truly okay to take any life you please? All in service of some implacable just cause? Lord Lenato didn't take up arms out of a lust for power. He simply believed his cause to be just. Who's to say it wasn't? Maybe we didn't have to cut him down like that. Maybe we could have reached a mutual understanding, found a path of peace. I... I have to believe that. Perhaps the notion sounds laughable to you. Mere lip service to naive ideals. But I can't believe otherwise. Sorry to intrude, but this incident may be more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect. But the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported the secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. 